Hey Aries, so I'm going to do a reading. We're going to see what comes out for you guys at this time, okay? Keep in mind while you're listening to the message that this is general, so if you're hearing certain messages that don't apply or resonate to your situation, don't force it. Listen to your intuition, okay? Thank you guys for your love and your support on the channel. I really do appreciate you all. We're going to go ahead and get started and see what your message is at this time, okay? I'm sorry I wasn't there for you. Okay, so there's a message coming through for somebody. Somebody wants to let another person know that they, you know, apologize for not being there. Um, I also see pennies slash coins. Okay, so that could be significant to you. Um, this could have to do with, like, coming up short. That's what I'm picking up on. You may feel like somebody is coming up short or somebody's falling short. Maybe somebody shortchanged you. Somebody um, just really wasn't dependable. That's what I'm seeing. All right, Spirit, can you tell me a little more about this message for the collective? Tell me more about this for the collective, Spirit. What else do you have for the collective at this time? Thank you. So, crossed over. Okay? So this definitely could be a message from someone on the other side, okay? So just keep listening, you know, to your intuition. But there is somebody here that wants to let you know that they, you know, they apologize for not being there for you or they apologize for um, coming up short, okay? That's what I'm picking up on. Yeah, I see feathers here at the bottom of the deck. This one says, um, feathers, angels are near you. So feathers, pennies, um, those could be signs or just confirmation, letting you know that an angel is around you, a, a crossover loved one is around you. I also have get more information and then I see battling addiction. Okay, so this is like, um, I feel like this is part two to a reading I did just a few days ago talking about addiction, okay? So, maybe you didn't know about this person's addiction, or maybe you're about to get more information about this person's addiction. I just want to pull out one more, one more Holy Spirit for the collective, just one more, one more. We have one more for the collective. Thank you. It says, they're getting advice on the situation, okay? So whoever is coming through in this reading, this person is getting guidance, they're getting advice, okay, with their, their, their situation, okay, I kind of feel like, um, yeah, so I see like a lot of synchronicities here, a lot of signs, a lot of omens, so you may be seeing things like pennies, um, feathers, I also have birds here as well. Okay, so those could be things that you're seeing. Um, birds, this one says messages, emails, DMs, and um, mailbox, okay? I also see keeping an eye on you. So I feel like the person in this reading is wants to let you know that they're keeping an eye on you. They're watching over you. Pay attention to the signs that you're getting because um, they see you. Um, they're connecting to you. This definitely feels like someone who's crossed over on the other side, okay? So some of you, um, I know that energy of grief has been coming up um, in the readings um, lately. So some of you may have been, you know, going through a tough time, uh, yeah, I see flute here. It says disappointment in a friend or lover. And I kind of feel like some of you still, you know, you may feel um, there still may be some disappointment. Or there. it kind of feels like um, maybe you didn't get enough closure or there, there is so much that was left unturned. Okay, like there's so much information that you did not know that you wanted to know. But you may feel like you, it's, you, it's, it's just not able to... It's not possible for it to um, come through, but what I'm seeing is a strong um, line of communication, okay? So definitely pay attention to the, some of the signs that you're seeing, okay? Because I feel like this crossover loved one wants to let you know, like, I'm still here. I'm still around, okay? All right, Holy Spirit, can you tell me more about this message for the collective? Ladder, it says climbing towards success. Okay, we've got the ladder card. Yeah, I'm thinking there is some type of, um, I don't know if it's a quote or what, but this reminds me of, 
you know how someone crosses over they you know they pass away and it's like i wish i had a ladder that was as long or that could reach to heaven that's what i'm seeing here with this ladder okay wow all right yeah it's i'm i don't even know what to say i don't know let's see i see four leaf clover it says good great fortune all right spirit can i have two more two more holy spirit Thank you. This one says door opportunities are waiting for you. One more Holy Spirit. And then I see February. Okay, so this could be a significant month for you. All right. I feel like um, yeah, I'm hearing like there is life you know, there is life after death. That's what I'm seeing. Okay, there's there is a strong transformation. There's a change. Some of you are struggling with um, with death, with grief. That's what I'm seeing. There's some type of um, sorrow here from losing a loved one, and it kind of feels like you know, like it's just it's hard to move forward. It kind of feels like it's just it's difficult to accept it. Okay, I feel like Spirit wants to remind you that life must go on. Okay, that's what I feel like Spirit wants wants you to remember or try to, you know, keep in mind during your, your healing process. Some of you have, um, you know, a lot of opportunities still available to you. There are, there are new things that are... Um, available to you and it, it just kind of feels like yeah this grief it just it's hard for you to really see it right now spirit tell me more about this reading what else tell me about the collective's energy in this reading tell me about the collective's energy in this reading okay so the four of wands and then i see the two of pentacles yeah so some of you are kind of struggling to find, you know, the groove of things, trying trying to figure out, like, how do I get back from this moment? How do I come out of this? How do I get back? You know, how do I feel um, myself again? I feel like Spirit is saying, you know, keep pushing. You have to push. You have to keep going. If you stay in this energy, then this is what you'll continue to experience. And I know, like, you know... I know that's easier said than done. I do understand that. But I feel like you have support around you. Um, letting you know like you're not by yourself. You're not um, doing this on your own. You have to, you know, you have to take steps though. Okay, tell me more about the collective's energy, Holy Spirit. It's like you have to do something each and every day. You really have to take it day by day. That's what I'm seeing to take it day by day yeah i see the ace of cups here so yeah this really did take a lot out of you emotionally you know the situation that went down it took a lot out of you um i'm seeing you know in the midst of everything that just recently happened um It's like so many different things are happening all at the same time. Okay, you have like this big situation and then there's a lot of little things that are, you know, kind of connected to it, you know. Um, it's like you have this loss, okay, it's This it could be a breakup, it could be, you know, like a divorce or something like that. It could be an actual death. And then you have like, maybe you're starting a new job or you're moving or there could be travel here there's new things that are available to you but you just really don't feel yourself I'm also seeing for some of you there's like another energy around you it's a, this turkey energy there's somebody who's trying to like disrupt your peace or you know make things even more difficult all right I feel like spirit really needs you to focus on you at this time focus on getting yourself back you know back in, uh, in balance i feel like you know you're just feeling a little sad a little um not a little it feels a lot of it feels like a lot of disappointment a lot of sadness a lot of sorrow here especially with that ace of cups reverse yeah and when you're stuck in this energy it, it, 
you just it's it's hard for you to you know do anything you know it's hard for you to live your life if you're stuck in this uh depression all right so just if you need to reach out to somebody that can give you um advice that can really talk to you that can um you know help you see your situation in another light don't be embarrassed to do so the hierophant came out okay i feel like some of you may have been out of a routine lately and um spirit is reminding you to get back on a routine okay you know take it day by day but get back into a routine all right all right holy spirit what else do you have for the collective tell me more what else do you have for the collective okay so yeah the four of swords and then the two of wands these two came out reverse okay spiritual counseling some of you definitely need to go you know um you know speak to a therapist speak to a counselor because if you really feel like you can't move forward and it's just difficult for you to find your steps then that's just a signal for you to connect to somebody that will help you along the way okay and there's nothing wrong with that there's nothing wrong with um, reaching out for help when you know you need help okay because you don't want to end up um falling deeper and deeper you know you don't want to fall into that energy okay sorry about that i'm just i got a text message that was funny okay spirit okay i'm also seeing you know some of you may be a little bit impatient with the process okay like there is some type of letdown a difficult you know it, it just okay so everybody's not going through you know a death but i am seeing that something ended and it feels like it's it's difficult for you to like wrap your mind around why it had to end that's what i'm seeing um yeah the emperor this could this definitely could be about a divorce i'm picking up on like final endings in this reading something is finally over or done with and um maybe you felt like you just never had the closure that you needed okay this could be about your father a father figure all right um you know maybe some some of you may feel like you never got the love from this father that you needed and he you know he may have recently passed away okay there's a lot of like deep reflection here a lot of thinking like where do i go from the here how do i move forward okay hmm. I'm also seeing some of you, um, you may not, you know, really want to deal with this. Like, you don't really want to deal with this ending or there's something that was left undone. It's kind of, it kind of feels like now you have to be the one to organize this and put this together. Okay. And it's like, why do I have to do this? Holy Spirit, tell me more about this message. What else do you have for the collective? What else do you have for the collective in this message? Let's yeah i'm just i'm the type of person i'm not really good with grief and death i feel like um i don't know if it's because i'm an air sign but i just feel like i'm it's i don't know i'm not really it's kind of it's still difficult for me to understand when somebody passes away even though i know like when you when you pass away you don't really die i know that but it's still like difficult for me to wrap my head around this person is no, no longer here you know so maybe some of you are yeah struggling with that i see the eight of swords here kind of feeling trapped in your head so again like you need an outlet some of you need an outlet a hobby okay a hobby um my daughter's teacher every week she sends the parents emails about the schedules and all that and at the end of her email she'll ask um all the parents a question and every week like we do that and we um we get to be entered in a contest so her question for this week was um 
if you could do any hobby, what would you do? And I, I said cake baking. Like I really want to, I want to, I want to decorate a cake. I feel like that's so cool. But then it's like, I don't know. Like what if I, I don't have the patience. Like it's just too much. I'm not going to eat a cake like that. I know everybody else is not going to eat the cake. So I don't know. But a hobby, that's, that's what I thought of. A hobby. You may need to like find a hobby, something that you can do and get your mind off of, you know, the current situation. All right, because this does feel like something that's out of your your hands right now. It feels like it's out of your control at this point, just for right now. All right, there's only so much that you control. You can control. All right, Holy Spirit, tell me more. What else do you have for the collective? Anything else? Any other messages? All right, I'm gonna switch over to another deck. Um, let's just see what else comes out. All right, Spirit. More messages, and then I'm gonna wrap this one up. It doesn't have to be too long. All right, Holy Spirit, this is for the collective. Any other messages that go with this reading? Thank you. Yeah, I challenge it. It says take time out from problems or conflicts, um, or approach softly to avoid making matters worse. Okay, so some of you kind of need to like remove yourself from the situation for a little bit get into a hobby um just kind of do something a little lighter so that you don't make the situation worse okay because i already feel the stress i see the anxiety the worry the you know sleepless night some of you need to do something physically you know maybe you need to work out to meditate maybe yoga go on a walk but doing things to kind of like shift your um energy i also see intuition trust your intuition it is a great time to learn a new skill change careers or invest money so again i'm picking up a hobby some of you need to find a new hobby i feel like this is also a message for me because i was talking about uh, the cake baking thing or cake decorating so i may you know you never know um but yeah a new hobby that may that may um help you feel a little bit better okay so here, can i have one more one more Holy Spirit for the collective. Just one more. Thank you, Spirit. And then we have friendship. It says, a friend needs your help. Your kindness and excellent counseling skills will put them back on track. Okay. Some of you, this could be um, a message for you. You could be the one who's like... Because I was saying earlier in the reading... Um, somebody feels like they have um a lot to do or they have a lot to plan and they're kind of like why do i have to do this okay i feel like spirit is saying uh you have you have the skills to to really make this situation as good as it can be okay it kind of feels like you had to do some last minute planning or last minute um something uh surrounding a death or a tragic ending i'm seeing that an ending all right uh, you may be somebody uh that's helping a friend or a family member get through this okay so try to stay focused all right stay on track trust your intuition trust spirit i want to do one more spirit one more and then i'll like this up just one more Okay, it says reinvent yourself. A transformation is taking place. Enjoy a new lease on life, okay? So, there is definitely change here, all right? It may not be uh, happening the best way for you at this time, but trust, there's going to be a new version of yourself once you get on the other side of your situation, okay? So, collective, I really do hope that this one was helpful. If so, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later, okay?